Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me today is Seth Letterman. He is the founder and CEO of Tonics Pharmaceuticals Holding Corp. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is TNXP on NASDAQ. And Tonix will be presenting at our upcoming investor conference, the Planet Microcap Showcase, taking place in Las Vegas, April 30 through May 2nd, 2024, at the Paris Hotel and Casino. For more information to register and meet Seth, hear the Tonix presentation, please register to attend at planetmicrocapshowcase.com. And with that, Seth, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on, Robert. Absolutely. It's great to have you. So look, we've done a number of interviews over the years. I, I think even my my dad interviewed you uh, uh, back in like 2017, 2016 and whatnot. So, I, you know, look, I, I'm sure the story has changed quite a bit since the last time we talked. So we'll kind of handle this as like a, a, a reintroduction, a first time we're talking together. So for those that don't know the Tonic story or aren't aware of how Tonics exists today, can you give us that quick overview and history of the company? Sure, thank you. Tonix is focused right now on filing the new drug application for Tonmaya for the treatment of fibromyalgia. We've been working on fibromyalgia for the whole time. We've been a company 12 years, and now we have completed two studies that are both statistically significant. And we believe we have everything we need to file the new drug application for Tonmaya. With Success. We expect an FDA decision in the middle of next year, uh, 2025. So all of our efforts are really focused on getting approval for Tonmaya for fibromyalgia. Very good. All right. So what would you say makes all your efforts here and your focus on fibromyalgia different and unique compared to maybe some of your peers out there that are also to, looking to develop drugs and potentially get approval for the treatment of fibromyalgia? There hasn't been a new drug approved for fibromyalgia since 2009, so a 15-year drought. And that's because it's a very challenging indication. We learned that as uh, even a drug that works is hard to develop. But we believe that our drug is in a position for approval, and we believe it has a number of differentiating qualities relative to the existing drugs out there. The three drugs out there are Lyrica from Pfizer, Cymbalta from Lilly, and Civella from AbbVie. Those were very useful drugs historically, but now that they've been on the market for 15 years, people do struggle with tolerability issues. Also, those drugs were all approved on the basis of pain, but they don't address some of the other symptoms of fibromyalgia. So we believe our product, Tonmaya, um, which is an experimental drug, it hasn't been approved for anything, but with two positive, with two studies that showed statistical significant improvement in pain, we also showed in our last study, statistical significant improvement in fatigue and sleep quality, which are important problems that plague fibromyalgia patients. So I think that we have a drug that uh, works in pain, but this is the first time that one drug will address some of these other problems. Very good. And and Seth, you know, prior to being founder and CEO of Tonix, you know, what is your background? Thank you. I was a professor at Columbia Medical School for a number of years, and I was in the division of rheumatology, which is the specialty of medicine that, uh, that takes care of fibromyalgia patients. So I've been working on fibromyalgia for 30 years. And from that experience, I really believe that our efforts will pay off because fibromyalgia patients need something new and doctors that treat fibromyalgia patients are also desperate for something new to try with patients. What's different about our drug is we realize that if you target sleep quality, and if you can improve sleep quality in fibromyalgia patients, what we've learned is that several of the other symptoms also improve. And that's why we think we have the first really broad spectrum agent, meaning something that improves more than one symptom and something that may improve 
fibromyalgia at the syndromal level, meaning the whole syndrome getting better. Very good. All right. So Seth, for my final question for you here today, from what you can tell us, I mean, you pretty much said that all your focus and efforts are going towards middle of 2025, where you're expecting, from what you said, a uh, decision from the FDA uh, regarding yeah. approval and not approval. So what are some of the things that you need to do for the duration of 2024 that folks should really pay attention to in order to get you to that milestone where you're hoping for the, the best possible scenario? Thank you. Well, right now we're focusing on filing the new drug application. The new drug application is a long and complex document, but we believe we're up to the task. We have a meeting with FDA called a pre-NDA meeting this quarter, and we expect to file the new drug application in the next quarter. Um, and then uh, expecting an FDA decision uh, 10 months after filing the new drug application. But in that time, we also plan to ramp up our pre-launch activities because we're planning to launch the drug in 2025. And that also requires a lot of effort. To prepare for that, In earlier in 2023, we purchased two migraine drugs. So Tonix is not only just a development company, but we market two migraine drugs, and we believe that they will be, that commercial operation will be the launch pad for a successful launch of Tonmaya. Well, with that, Seth, where can our audience go and find more information on Tonix Pharmaceuticals? Our website is tonixpharma.com, www.tonix, T-O-N-I-X, pharma, P-H-A-R-M-A.com. And we have a pretty complete website with a lot of information about Tanmaya, our migraine drugs, and our other activities. Very good. Well, Seth, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I will see you in Vegas. Thank you, Robert. I look forward to seeing you in Vegas. Thank you.